Hey everyone, Noah Bronstein with Food Reviews and Travel coming back to you live with another video. Uh, this time I'm not uh, at a restaurant and I'm not out and about traveling right now showing you where I'm going. This video is a little bit different. Uh, so to explain, uh, when I'm at uh, home, uh, I like getting my groceries and doing the predominant amount of my shopping uh, at Trader Joe's. Uh, I'm a big Trader Joe's fan, uh, whatever it may be, uh, snacks, desserts, breakfast, lunch, dinner items, um, Trader Joe's is just the place that I'm always going to go. Uh, pretty good uh, prices. And uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of different things. I'm going to show you uh, two new items that Trader Joe's has released, uh, one snack that I really enjoy, uh, a breakfast option that, I'll gonna, that I'm going to show you all, um, and then some ideas for lunch and dinner as well. So stay tuned in this video, and let's get right into it. And then for um, a good uh, breakfast option that I go to almost every day pretty frequently is I take the Trader Joe's Greek low-fat plain yogurt, and I pair that with some of their frozen organic blueberries. And then I've gone through almost the entire bag, but I finish it with some chopped walnuts. And what you get when you pair the blueberries with the walnuts uh, and the yogurt together, it's a really nice, light, simple option. Again, doesn't require or involve a whole lot of prep or thought to go into it. Uh, just putting them together is a really good option. And um, if plain yogurt isn't your thing, if you like a flavored yogurt, Trader Joe's does have a couple of different uh, choices of yogurt that you can choose between. Um, if you like a different fruit option, if you don't like blueberries, you could swap them out with something else that you enjoy. And the same thing goes for the walnuts. If you like a different type of uh, nut or if you don't like nuts at all on your yogurt, um, a yogurt bowl, just a really, again, fast, simple concept to enjoy in the morning. And so when I'm shopping at Trader Joe's and I'm looking for something that might work as a good quick lunch or a nice fast dinner and something that isn't going to take a lot of time uh, to prepare, uh, something that I especially enjoy um, is the fr uh, frozen food that Trader Joe's has, especially their uh, Indian food options. Now, what I've got right here is the chicken tikka masala. They have a wide variety of many different types of Indian options that you can choose from. Uh, chicken tikka masala just happens to be my favorite that Trader Joe's offers, uh, described as a, a roasted chicken breast in a robust cream sauce with cumin-flavored basmati rice. And so uh, you can either pop this into the microwave or cook this in the oven. Um, and what's great about this is that it's a nice individual sized portion. In this box, they give you the chicken tikka masala on one side, and then they give you the portion of rice, which is just really nice. And then this is truly one of my big favorites. Uh, this is their garlic naan. Now, for those of you who don't enjoy um, a really like strong, pungent garlic flavor, they do have uh, a plain type of frozen naan. Um, so it's cool that they have those two different uh, options, one being garlic, and then again, the other being uh, the original variety. You get four pieces of garlic naan in the package, and it's got a phenomenal uh, aromatic garlic flavor. Uh, it's got some uh, cilantro on it too, which really kind of amps up the flavor profile. And when you cook it in the oven, it really crisps up nicely on the outer exterior and can be a great uh, additional piece to kind of round out the chicken tikka masala or really whatever uh, frozen item you're eating that you pick up from Trader Joe's. So these two things, again, the chicken tikka masala and the garlic naan are my favorite pairing to pick up that I pick up pretty frequently um, and is again a really good quick option um, for a meal if you're stuck and not sure what to have. And then moving on to uh, one final lunch or dinner option that is really quick, it's easy, it's convenient, are the frozen pasta options from Trader Joe's. This is the fettuccine alfredo. And the other one I picked up is the penne arrabbiata. Now, 
Those two just, again, happen to be my personal favorites. Uh, what's really nice about the Penne Arabiata, which is really unique, that I haven't been able to find in really any other frozen pasta options from really any store that you could go to, is the flavor profile of that pasta sauce. It's not your average marinara sauce. It's slightly spicy, but it's a flavorful spice. Um, and it's, it's really not that bad. Um, if you've got a pretty decent spice tolerance, I think, you know, you can very well uh, handle that. Um, and what's really great about the Arabiata, the Fettuccine Alfredo, or really any of the other pasta options, is it's a good customizable base. And what I mean by that is that you can start with one of these uh, frozen pasta options. Um, and I personally, with the Arabiata, I like to add in some frozen spinach which kind of gives it a nice green color pop. Um, and it's just another nice element of freshness to kind of cut through um, some of that flavorful spice in the Arabiata. So, you know, if spinach is your thing, I'm sure that could work really well. If you want to saute up some mushrooms, that could also be great. If you want to add a protein, uh, chicken, or really whatever it is that you like in your pastas, uh, really the options are kind of endless. And then, the next thing I'm really excited to get into is to show you uh, two of the newest items that Trader Joe's has come out with. Uh, I always enjoy uh, going to Trader Joe's to try out the new products, and that's the really fun thing about going to Trader Joe's. They have really unique uh, approaches that they take to snacks, their frozen food, their baked goods, literally any item in the entire store. Uh, it's really unique. It's fun to shop for. Um, and I can't help but uh, try out as many of them as I can. So the first thing I have in this bowl is the chocolatey drizzled strawberry kettle popcorn. Um, I have had their regular kettle corn before, um, but again, this item is still fairly new. I hit the shelves pretty recently. Um, and as you can see, drizzled with some chocolate and I see freeze-dried strawberry bits on the popcorn as well. So let's give it a try. It's interesting, for sure. I think when you open up the bag right away, you get a pretty strong, like, strawberry scent that is really noticeable right off the bat. Um, I think something that's a little bit confusing for me is I'm a big like regular kettle corn purist. The mix between like some sweetness and the saltiness that you get off of traditional kettle corn. But I'm not really too sure how I feel about the chocolate being on the kettle corn. I think if anything, the concept is interesting, but I think the flavors kind of clash. I think if you again, are a purist like me, and you like the traditional taste of kettle corn, this might not be the thing for you. But if you like an interesting take on kettle corn, again, with some chocolate, and yes, there is a good uh, strawberry flavor there as well, uh, go to your nearest Trader Joe's because these won't last for long. And then this next item is the Brookie Caramel Candy Clusters. And for those of you who are avid Trader Joe's shoppers, uh, you might know their Brookie, which is a brownie and a cookie together as one dessert that they sell in their bakery aisle, which is very good. Uh, but this is a different take on that. Um, you see on the back here, it shows you the different components of this candy cluster. Chocolate chip cookie pieces, sea salt on top, kettle cooked caramel, crispy brownie pieces and dark chocolate. And so this is what they look like. The chocolate on the back, the caramel on the front. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That's nice. I think what you should know prior to buying these, is that the caramel, it's like a really predominant texture and flavor right off the bat. It's pretty caramel forward. 
you do have the like the saltiness on the top from the sea salt. So that flavor profile is noticeable and really interesting. And then a nice amount of crunchiness from the cookie pieces, the crispy brownie pieces. So I would say I do like it, but if sea salt on a sweet treat isn't really kind of your thing, that might not be for you. And I would suggest you try the regular Brookie in their bakery aisle. Um, so I think at the end of the day, I would say I do like these, but the chocolatey strawberry popcorn, I personally would pass on that and just get the regular kettle corn instead. Uh, this is not new, but they have had this for a while, is the Trader Joe's Inner Peas, a uh, crunchy baked green pea snack. And I do like these. Nothing kind of crazy going on here, just the crispy peas right here. Mmm. Yeah. A nice light airy texture. A little bit of salt on top, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah. That's a snack I can really get behind. It takes us to the end of my Trader Joe's haul. Uh, I hope that some of the things that I showed you gave you some inspiration or possibly some ideas um, regarding what you could eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and some of the fun uh, items and the snacks that uh, I tried today. So if you thought that this video was uh, helpful at all, if you want to see more Trader Joe's content, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you aren't uh, already. And if you hit that bell icon, it's going to notify you uh, of my next video. So again, I'd love to know your thoughts and see you on the next video.